our next topic is field work a topic a geography topic in form one so we are going to define the term field work state different types of field work explain the importance of field work explain the procedure to be followed during field work identify possible problems during field work and finally carry out a field work to implement what we've just learned these are these should fall under practical geography I hope you can remember so field work is a scientific study of geography using the environment as a lab lab of source of information field work is a scientific study of geography using the environment as a lab or source of information these are the types of field work a field excursion this is visiting an area near or far from the school to see geographical phenomena then note down and discuss later in class and the main aim is to reinforce what we have learned in class for example we in form one we took a topic called weather and under that topic we looked at the weather station so if you get from your school to a weather station it's going to will that should be a field ex excursion which is which whose aim is to reinforce that which you've learned in class secondly it's going its aim is to gain more knowledge more geographical knowledge identify and appreciate geographical features and identify problems of geographical interest we also have a field research which is a systematic problem solving done by experts in which scientific methods of collecting recording and analyzing data are used a field study is a study conducted within a neighborhood in which one theme is pursued for example a study of a local form what's the importance it reinforces what has been learned in class it enables one to gain more geographical knowledge it breaks the monotony of classwork it provides learner with practical skills of collecting recording and analyzing data and report writing it gives a student an opportunity to go out and practice what they have learned in class let's see some more enables students to familiarize themselves with the environment and develop a positive attitude towards it it also enables students to develop a positive attitude towards manual work it promotes development of virtues like cooperation by working in groups let's look at the field work procedure the first step is identification of a topic or theme for example a study of rocks around the school next the second step is to is the identification of the area of study so this should be chosen carefully to ensure that the field study is successful and it should meet some of the following conditions should contain sufficient information should be within a convenience distance to reduce expenses and then we are going to state to provide a statement of the objectives this is stating the aims of carrying the field study which acts as the guidelines to activities to be undertaken during the field work they should be brief and simple testable and easy to evaluate so if remember if let's say our theme is a study to a local farm our our objectives could be stated as follows to find out methods of farming in a local farm for example to identify the cattle breeds in the farm and maybe to investigate the problems facing the farm then we are going to formulate a hypothesis which is a which these are assumptions set before field work whose validity or acceptance is to be proven and so we have two types of hypotheses which we have an alab hypothesis which is stated in a negative form for example there is no relationship between rainfall and crop yield we also have number two the alternative hypothesis also called the substantive 
hypothesis which is stated positively for example most food stuffs sold in the neighborhood come from the immediate neighborhood yeah so uh and finally we're going to prepare to do the preparation of a field study uh, which involves we seek permission from relevant relevant authorities we seek permission from the school and it's also important to avoid being denied it is important to avoid being denied permission to enter there yeah, you see such stuff enable individuals to set early and the suitable date that's and and such so um the last step would be since we've prepared we've gotten the right documentation from the authorities we've gotten the permission from the school and all that we've documented our objectives that we are going to to look at and we have the hypothesis to validate then we can carry out the field study so uh these are the details or not we've just looked at and uh, uh, the link to these notes is on your description you can also get these notes from the geography application which is on your play store and the icon is that brown icon if you have trouble finding it so we as we close this topic we are going to look at the problems likely to be encountered during field work language barrier this is an inability to communicate due to the interviewer and the respondent not sharing the same language and thus the the data may not be the the, the interviewer may not be able to respond to your questions and data may not be collected so we have hostility those being approached to give answers may become harsh due to the feeling that their time is being wasted which would cause the field study to be unsuccessful we also have dishonest respondents so they'll give wrong information due to suspicion of fear or shame or superstition we have bad weather so when it's raining heavily it makes it impossible to proceed with data collection and also difficult to in movement uh, we have ac accidents in the field one may fall and get injured when walking on rugged areas of course we don't do these field studies in our classrooms we, it's outside there we also have good experience participants being encountered with uh, may encounter wild animals when carrying out the study in bushy areas and finally we may have inaccessibility which is we have physical barriers such as swamps which may hinder participants from reaching areas with vital information and so as we as we close this uh these resources are, are meant for revision so uh you will probably be viewing them from your homes so you can try and try out a field work uh, follow the steps we've outlined and you can share that on the comment section of your findings thank you see you in our next class and our next topic should be minerals and rocks